Hello, I think we should do a Curse of Strahd video. Let's do a Gakis Rock Nest. This is a map from a Mad Cartographer, which we've just updated for our new Vampire Hunters Patreon tier. And we are going to set that up. So the rock obviously isn't here. We will add that in. Um, but we've gone through and increased the quality and the detail. These are some of our oldest maps, so we've gone back and given them a fresh touch. Um, I feel like, okay, so walling for this map, I feel like we're going to have, we're obviously going to set a um, invisible walls around the exterior, I think. So people can't go just scaling up the huge walls, but the smaller ledges will will leave be. We just want to make it clear to players that they probably need to do some sort of climb and check if they're going to go scaling the full exterior walls of the map. So my group never actually ended up when I ran Curse of Strahd. Never made it up to any sort of nest for the rock. Um, so this will be interesting. I am going to use the version 11 ambient effects to put some weather on this map. Let's have a look. Do we go for snow or do we go for blizzard? I imagine it needs to be blizzard. Yeah, it absolutely needs to be blizzard. Very cool. Uh, and we have, we have a rock. However, the rock may not always be here. Let's go into that Gakis nest. Get our rock token. Okay. Fills the edge of a map. Very cool. Um. It needs to be levels, doesn't it? In case someone climbs on top of a rock. Um, I feel like in the book, I'm sure a rock has a wingspan of like 120 foot, doesn't it? So I'm going to say the rock is 40 feet tall. So its bottom is at 40 foot. But this should mean that if we have someone on the map. Ooh, now this might make me change my mind about those walls. Because now there's walls underneath what is technically a roof, it throws line of sight. So I think the solution is that we have no walls. And we just rely on a bit of DM and player discretion. Fantastic. But if they were to climb up, 40 foot, zoom in a little bit. They're now stood on top of a rock, the absolute mad lads. Okay, we don't want the rock to always be here. So we want uh, to be able to summon it. So first of all, I'm gonna add in a monk's active tile. which I didn't mark as a transparent image in Canva. But watch this. Magic. So, we have this up here. It says it's a DM note. Uh, I don't have the scene walled. So let me just look and see if there's any modules I need to enable for working on this. I think I have monks already activated. Yeah, I do. Let's just save. Wall our scene. See, it doesn't wall to me outside. Cool. So our players now can't see out and see this. What do I want to happen? Well, I want to say when, uh, in our triggers tab, when the GM double clicks on this box, I will allow it when paused. What do I want to happen? 
example, I want to play a sound effect. Now the sound effect here is one that won't be won't be used in my cartographer product, but it's my favorite rock noise. Uh, it is of course for my very very first YouTube video actually I think I did. It is um, I used in my game the rock used cries of Rodan from a 2019 Godzilla film because um, I just think it was very very cool. So I have said when I double click this it will play this sound and it will show or hide the ready to be in canopy mode there we go that tile and we will have it toggle over the duration of i'll start up with five seconds we'll see how five seconds feels That's quite slow fading out. Might be too slow, but on arrival, let's see. Yeah, I think that needs to be changed to maybe two. Let's see. Yeah, I feel that's better. I imagine most players are going to come up here. It's quiet, it's empty. They're looking around at the eggs and suddenly they hear what should be a familiar cry to them by this point in a campaign. And the rock comes swooping in and lands. Yeah, I really like that. We are also missing ambient audio for the scene. Let's go with some frozen tundra. No volume easing, not constrained by walls. Let's not have it overwhelmingly loud, though. What do we think? This whole video is just an excuse for me to keep playing this. Okay, cool. I like that. Um, next up we have a night variant of it. So I'm just going to duplicate. I'll call that Gakis Rock Nest Day. And then we'll make this one Gakis Rock Nest Night. I'm going to point this one to the night map. Obviously, our overhead token needs to change in to the night version of the rock. And I think this means that our monk's active tile will need repointing because the tile that has been specified is no longer the correct one. Monk's is really brutal. For doing that, you can absolutely click a tile in a duplicated scene and have it change or toggle things on the original scene, and you feel like nothing's happening. But then you click back and realize that you've spawned the monster 10 times on the old version of the map. I'm not convinced about save properly, so let's see. Yeah, it is not playing. So let's have a look and see. So playing that sound effect, but also. Don't think it selected. There we go. How about now? Okay. Yeah, I really like this. And I really love those new um, weather effects. We love the updated improved weather effects on version 11. So yeah, this has been a day and night version of the new Mad Cartographer Gakis Rock Nest maps. Um, we are launching a new Patreon tier called uh, Adventure Vampire Hunters, which will be supplementary Curse of Strahd um, content with a very, very Foundry-centric focus on it. Um, I will put a link down in the video description, but consider jumping over to the Mad Cartographer Patreon, having a look and check out what we do. 
I'll make a few more of these soon. Until then, catch you next time.